Welcome to the third chapter of the Eden's Promise Saga, Anamorphosis, or E11N for the cool kids. This is a fight against the Fate Breaker. This dude is really into snakes and casting elemental spells, so you know what we gotta do, put him out of his misery. The first core ability is Burnt Strike, which can be cast as fire, lightning, or light. In the fire version, you have to get pretty close to the blast zone because it is going to push you far away, so get nice and close. The lightning version of this attack is going to have two separate blast zones, the initially telegraphed one here and then an even wider one very quickly thereafter, so make sure you give yourself a little bit of space. The final version is going to be a light imbued, and this will show up when the boss is under half health. This version is very very simple, it's just the initial blast zone followed by a bunch of single target AoE markers. Just dodge those and you're good to go. Next up is Bound of Faith. If it is imbued with lightning like this time, the person that is targeted with this is going to be hit with a dot that is very strong, so healers keep an eye on whoever that person is. The fire version of this spell, however, is going to create a typical standard stacking indicator. Everyone just make sure you hug up with everybody in the party and you can all only slightly get hurt instead of someone getting obliterated. Banished Glory is nothing fancy, just a room-wide AoE. Healers, do the AoE heal thing. Powder Mark is a two-phase tank buster ability. The first part of it is just a nice chunky hit to the tank. But then you'll notice there's a nice little debuff on the tank. At the end of this time frame, the tank is going to be targeted with another little explosion as indicated here by this marker, so make sure that you're ready to not only take the initial hit, but the subsequent explosion thereafter. Turn of the Heavens is yet another elemental ability. In this instance, fire is being channeled, and when it is cast, you'll see a bunch of colored circles on the floor. Since the element was fire, we know that the fire spots are super dangerous, so get very, very, very close to the opposite element, and you will survive this attack. Shifting Sky creates a nice little sequence of events here. So it starts with it being channeled, and then the boss is going to jump away, which is going to create a big pushing indicator on the floor as seen here. So obviously stand nice and close to the center of that so you get not thrown off the board. From there he'll leave his pet snake behind and you just need to get behind it. There's a generous time slot here so you should be fine with that. But then the more confusing part which might catch you off guard is that Burnt Strike is cast with both elements simultaneously. So remember the lightning one does a double blast of widening range and the fire one is going to push you. So make sure that you are close. Prismatic Deception is basically the boss deciding they want to play hide and seek with a couple shadow clone friends. So to set the mood, they turn the lights on nice and bright, and then off they go hiding. The only way you can find them is by running around the edge of the room like this. You'll see the entire party is playing merry-go-round. You basically will see them only when you just cross them. Since they're standing pretty close to each other, make sure that you're on the outer edge of one of the corner ones and they're going to shoot a huge targeted blast down the middle of the field. As long as you're next to one of the outer edges, you're good to go. Follow these instructions carefully, and you too can watch the Fate Breaker fall. Congrats to you and your party. Duty complete. I've been Keylime. Thanks for tuning in, and happy hunting.